representing Bobby by Kwan, Peter Kwan. Just like you know, go to inside your butt and in your stomach and your gut. What you do, you can't go to the gym and work out rah 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 and then like eat like just rice. I mean, I like those. Like gluten free? Yes, gluten free. It's but oh really? Protecting the asset, you know, that's like, it's like not nice, positive. If it's like, like, what do you think you're actually gonna get it's out of that? It's just coming from your anger. You know what I mean? What kind of ice cream am I gonna have tonight at ten o'clock? But she likes to talk about it. So I'm just a receptacle. I just listen to her. You know, that's the same thing with Christina because, you know, all I want to do is, you know, I just want to talk about this, I mean, everything that I did, like in the workout. I'm like, oh my gosh, I did this and I did that. And then I did this and that. And then she's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, can we, can we walk Pepper? I'm like, you're right. We should walk Pepper. Yeah. And then that's just how it is every yeah. time. I'm like, I'm like, I like throw up about everything I did with her. Yeah. And then she's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She's very receptive. Yeah. You know, it goes in one year, goes out the other. And it's okay. That's exactly what I do. Because she her. enjoys the fact that I'm even just talking to her. I do that you know, you and, and that's fishing. like I love the fact that she's doing something that she really enjoys and it's good for her. Yes. You know, I'm all for it. I'm a hundred percent for it. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. But do I need to hear about the pistol things and the this and, that <laughs> and the 45, you know, that and this and, and I did that. You know, oh. I'll listen but it goes oh out the God. other ear, but I'm just glad she's into it. You know, it's just That's not my right. thing, but I'm glad she's into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what I did at the gym. I just went in there and worked up a sweat and I, you know, beat the shit out of myself for an hour, but that's, it. that's all I need to know. I don't need to tell anybody else. I did it. You but did slowly it. and surely you start picking up, you start doing stuff. I do yeah. stuff. I, I, see I still yeah. do see stuff. Whether you know it or you not, you're me. starting to mm -hmm. do it. Of course I do. Why that's wouldn't right. I? It'd be dumb not to. You know, it works for me. wish the best for myself, you know, like I can wish for the best, but I don't want to set the, because what if... But that's the thing, you don't want to wish for the best. You just want to do your best. Because if if every, if you focus on the so preparation- the problem is that's what the problem is, is yes. the what ifs. Yes. Because I know I say that a lot. Yes. And the what if can-, can You know like that, you know that saying, <clears throat> nobody, nobody plans to fail, they fail to plan. That's, that is like the most simple way to attack life. It's, it's not that, you know, you wish for the best, or you wish for this, or you wish for that, or I hope this, I hope that. It's like, it's all in the preparation. Ooh, that looks oh good. my gosh, thank you so much. Look at this. This is, this is amazing. Gluten free. It's the messy, messy burger. The messy, <laughs> messy, messy burger. burger. Yes. But healthy. 
health, very healthy. I oh love boy. it, Kirk. This is so great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so you have to plan. You have to always have a plan, like you said. I mean, I have you know? a plan, but then yes. if it doesn't go completely 100% my way, I'm not gonna beat myself up. No, of course not. You yeah. just keep going. You, right, that, that's right. the thing. You just you just have right. to keep going. Right. You know, if you like, I love failure. Like I really do. Like over the years, I'm just like, you know what? I love messing up because it's not. I find so many ways to not do that again. Right. right. So if I if I'm trying to get to the same goal, but I like stumble ten times, and I just discover ten different ways not to do it. Mm-hmm. So that when I get to this point, mm-hmm. this point being this awesome like place where I'm like just really happy with myself, then I can help other people. Hey, here's the ten ways you shouldn't be doing this. Right, right. You know, here's here's the way that I found that really works. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. You know, because that's what all I want to do is I just want <clears throat> to. Man, know. can you imagine like what you would talk about like at the age of ninety? Oh my god! Like I, the way you are even right now. Compared yes. to what you could give at the age of 90 and what you have lived yes. through. Oh my gosh. Well, that's, that's what I do like this I wonder every day. What you would say, like compare your youth, you know, yes. to later. Like, oh my gosh. Like, if you kept this video, you know, and just compared oh. what you Ten years have from learned. Now. Yeah, even, you know, next year. Right? Yeah, even next year. Um, wow, Jenny. That's a... You know... It, you know, I told you I've been writing to myself every night. So I've been writing to myself every night. <clears throat> and even just going back to day one, when I first started writing to myself, oh my gosh, the emotional roller coaster and the amount of growth that I experienced every day. And I'm like reading and I'm but like... But that's probably what brought you to this. Yes. That, that is exactly what exactly. brought me to this. You remember I told you it was January 22nd? But see, you could have gone the other way too. People make choices. You, yes. you can you can have gone into a hole and have been miserable with a bottle of whiskey and yes. you know because that's what people do. But the, I never saw that. I never saw that happen. Oh. You know, I owed that all to my mom mm-hmm. because for my mom, I. So what makes one person go the other way? Because what makes you know what I mean? Is it your upbringing? Is it your mom? Is it your friends? Is it you know? It's just like, like what really you stuck have to it me. Or you, yeah. Some people, I'm just like, come on, snap out of it, you know? But they just can't. That's, they, she, they, she need <laughs> <laughs> no, they need to. No, they need it. They need to have the people in their life that's gonna sh- be the example right. to show them. The only reason why I got through everything that I go through, I'm still going through, is now because of my beautiful wife mm-hmm. and all of you guys. But before, it was mainly because of the example I saw through my mom. <clears throat> my mother went through just like some awful shit. Like I can't yeah. even believe this would happen to this t- this woman. But you know, she never complained. I've never heard my mom complain. Never. Like, she was scrubbing shit off a toilet. That's what she did for a living. She was a day porter. She cleaned office buildings. She did what she had to do. She, she did what survived. she had to do. And I would go with her. You know, I would go wear my backpack vacuum and I'd go clean with her three days out of the week. I did that. And I would see my friends from high school. You know? And I'm like, hey. But I'll be so happy because I know that after I clean this office building with my mom, we're going to go get a uh, subway. No. Mm-hmm. And we would always do that. After every shift, we would go to Subway. My mom and I would split a foot long. And like, that was fun. And then I would save a little bit of money to buy protein and like creatine. Then I would like use that to like work out. And everything else, like, my mom gave me allowance for helping her work. Right. So she would, you know, take whatever. But I was just there to help. Time to spend with your mother. Yes. Also. And I've done so much stuff. Like I didn't go to my senior prom. <clears throat> I had to work. I chose to work. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, it was, it was great. I'm so glad I did, but I got, didn't get to experience all of these things yeah. that other kids did. And that, that, you know, they had the luxury to do, but I didn't mind at all. Like I was Probably always happy you, doing it. You know, and like every time, it's just like so hard, and like everything seems so impossible. It's really not. It's all yeah. here. Yeah. And I used to like think about my mom and like how she just always pushed through. And like the the best she thing didn't I have picked a up. Everybody loved my mom, even till this day. Like everyone that meets her, they're like, "Oh my gosh, your mom is so nice." Blah blah. blah. She's so. Awesome. She yeah. Like that. Is your sister like that? Yes, my sister same way. She's not as like ah as I am, um, but everybody everybody loves her. Like she's very loved in the community. She's known to work hard. Is your sister around here? Yes. 
she's a school teacher at uh, Silver Spring. Oh yeah. But like she's she's smart. Like my sister is a lot more practical than I am at sometimes. You know, I don't know about now, but <laughs> <coughs> no, she's she's very smart. Um, but it was just like so. It was just so amazing. Like my whole life, and you know, it's still amazing. You know, now I'm at a point where I can, no matter what circumstance, no matter what happens, and everything happens to everybody. Like I'm just so happy because I want to be happy. Because, you know, like Kirk, like you said, our life is all in here. So everything is in here. Yes, in here. Here, here. Yes. Heart, head. Yeah. And that's that's all that's all it is, you know? Just that's it. Everything you experience is what you experience. It's, it's your view. It's your picture. Yes. Through your retina, through your eyeball, through that's your brain. Right. You perceive it. That's a fancy word, retina. Because I'm here, right in front of you. That's and that's right. And you see me the way you want to, you know? And everybody else. That's right. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Uh, and you know, life is just, that's what, that is the hardest thing to do because people are like, they're, you, you get what you put into your body. Which is another reason why, thank God I do what I do. Like this, I'm, I'm doing what I love doing every day and yep. first, and like it's, it's keeping me sustained. You found your calling as, as, a, by young, accident. as a young person, but you found oh, it. Man, it, it so many by accident. It's yours. I like yours. stumbled it's onto it. It's yours. It's mine. That's your baby. That's yours. Like this whole training but thing, thank I just God accidentally you're a did it. people person. Like it comes natural to you. Like you're a people person. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, yes. you are. Yes. You know, I owe a lot to waiting tables and bartending. Oh, yeah, I, oh my gosh. To not be fearful. <clears throat> if there's something that I want my kids to do is I want them to wait on people. Yeah. I want them to get like totally just agree. mistreated. Yep. Unfairness. No matter what they do, people are just not happy with their service. And like I want everybody to go through that because yep. if you don't That's go hard. through that, I went through that. You did. She, you, you, she worked at her life. parents' restaurant. It's not that I want people to get shit on. You know, I don't want people to get shit on, but... <clears throat> you learn it's a, not it's a, to be it's a fearful. Lesson. It's life lessons. You learn to block all, like, annoyances. Yes, but the can biggest... I more eyes? Can I get a straw? Can yeah. I get... No, oh, it's I just like... Because <laughs> I'm ready what, to go here. Customers I'm, I'm here to help. Like, you come back with one thing and right. they ask for another and then, you know... Yeah. It's just like, okay, sure. And you learn yeah. how to deal with all different yeah. types of mentalities. It's important. And you learn about culture and you pick you up on personalities. But the most important thing that I found that I got from, you know, doing that was the self-esteem you get. That if you do put up with all of that stuff, if you do go through all that unfairness, mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do about it, no. right? Do like you're hour. in a position where you're getting paid three dollars an hour hourly. You're not gonna ever see this money because it's gonna be deducted from taxes. Right. You made a choice to be there, so you better yes, do it. Yes. Yes. And you're you're basically your value to the marketplace, like your value to society, as a waiter or a bartender, right. is only for, as much as for, your experience. Yeah. Right, your value, all you're doing is serving. Well, you you're are slave. a slave. You're a you server. are a slave. Yeah. So by practicing what it means to be a slave, you you actually become free from yourself. Mm -hmm. We're servers. That's a really good way we to serve. serve. Yes. We serve. But we we do a fee for service. Right. So we do serve, mm -hmm. right. but we serve because of what people don't know. Yeah. And we serve through what we can do. You know, like yes, we cut hair and I train people, but it's not like Everybody that gets goes to a salon is not going to get the same experience from you guys. Right. Everyone that gets a trainer is not going to get the same experience from here. But you have to have confidence because yes. if you don't, they will eat you up alive. They will eat you. But because that's, you learn that quickly. You can't go to a trainer and sense fear in a trainer uh -uh. because Never. we're we're already it's already hard to work out. Right. We don't want to work out. We feel like we have to work out. You yes. know what I mean? It's like yes. it's like we're battling with our own self, and our own mind as it is. Like people go to the hair salon because they want to get pampered. It's like more so it's easy. Especially people saying people going to work out. Mess they have to do something work. Like yeah. I mean, you know. Absolutely. So if they sense that you're not like up to par to their, uh, I don't know. Like <clears throat> I assume if you seem insecure in any way of your job or your performance or your uh, knowledge. They're gonna just be like, why am I doing this? Right, you know? exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, why am I wasting my time? 
And that confidence, only you get that from practice. Right. You know, and like... But you, you get it through, like, knowing and feeling out the customer. And yes. Getting into their head. And yes. And, like, oh, I know this, this kind of... Because I feel like people's personalities are grouped. Like, there's this kind of people, there's this kind of people, and this kind. Once you... I feel like once you group them, you kind of can get a better understanding of where they're coming from. You know? Yes. True. 